gossiping guys, Sam Raimi's statement about Spider-Man 3 being awful wasn't the last thing we heard about Sam Raimi's trilogy in terms of news and something very excited we've got uh, this time. Special thanks to Nailbiter over comicbookmovie.com. You can check out his article in the description box. This is of course uh, Spider-Man trilogy, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, concept artwork with Green Goblin, even a piece of Venom and of course Spidey himself. Warren Manser worked on the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy and he brings us this unique and really powerful great designs for Green Goblin. Here's what he actually says about it. I really like the Goblin from the comics because he always reminded me of Halloween. My first concepts were very close to the comic version because I wanted the character to retain his method of intimidation through fear. Technology would be secondary to psychology, and so he could look like demon, but Alice he went the high-tech road. There was much concern over whether or not the audience could see actor William Defoe's performance. I created quite a few concepts of the mask's eye lenses articulating to reveal his eyes and then the whole mask hanging open to reveal most of his face. Of course, very excited designs with the mask which opens up. The concept artist definitely was a fan of the original Goblin's design and as we can see right here there's a little bit of purple, a little bit of green, overall it looks honestly a lot better than what we've got as a result as some people call the Power Rangers Green Goblin suit. Uh, personally I thought that the Dandy Hans Green Goblin The Amazing Spider-Man 2 this time will stick more to the comics instead of the hoodie which he wears the classic hoodie on his head. Uh, they went with Dandy Hans hairstyle which kinda represents the hoodie but there was no purple and he didn't look, look like demon or monster. Green Goblin is one of the few Spider-Man villains who are are kinda actually scary and who represent the pure evil, the fear. If they are appearing in a movie on the big screen, you better make them pretty damn scary. Goblin is a monstrous creature, so I definitely prefer more of a mutated look, you know, more of an organic look instead of the high-tech uh, look which we've got for both Goblins, Willem Dafoe's Goblin and then the Hans a Green Goblin. Still, there's still time for improvement if there will be a Green Goblin, let's say, in the new trilogy, the Ultimate Green Goblin, they still can go with the organic look with this more of a monstrous type of look. Overall, fantastic concept artwork. As you know, I'm a huge Raimi trilogy fan. Actually, I consider the first fight between Spider-Man and Green Goblin to be one of the best uh, Spidey fights on the big screen. It's very brutal and very, you know, it, it was brutal before the Dark Knight, before before this whole dark and gritty concept for a superhero films was actually became popular. We've already had a, quite a brutal fight in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man one. And yeah, it's, 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 it's just really great, you can check out all these images in the description box. William Dafoe did pretty well, even though I do have my complaints about uh, Goblin's costume. As an actor, as Norman Osborn, he did pretty well. Uh, funny enough that William Dafoe actually said that The Amazing Spider-Man 1 he kind of criticized the trailer and the whole movie, he said there's no point of remaking it, we did it first, so he's not very pleased with the new trilogy. As for Spidey, we can clearly see here the bigger eyes and definitely that's what we've got during the first, very first footage from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man uh, 1. Not the first teaser, just the first, first footage. There was this shot with Spider-Man having really, really big eyes, actually the original costume was supposed to have huge eyes. And actually that's the footage where Toby's, we can see Toby's web shooters, Peter's web shooters, which he originally was supposed to have. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this concept artwork, you can check it out in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I'm off for now.